What's up guys, today I'm gonna to go through some of the new features of the latest Final Cut Pro update. There's some pretty useful tools, but there's also a few disappointments. The first new big feature that they've added is this scene removal mask, and it will automatically cut out the background for you. And this effect is super useful for more advanced titles. And you can find that in your effects tab over here and underneath the mask and keying. So to use this effect, you'll need to set up your camera on a tripod or a stationary position, have your subject move into frame and then leave the frame so that we have a clean slate. And then all you need to do is add this scene removal mask onto the video clip and it will automatically cut out the background for you. So if you go up to the parameters on the reference, depending on where your, your clean frame is, you want to either select first frame or the last frame. So for this video clip, I'm going to select last frame. And then what it will do is separate me and the car from the background. So for example, what I can do is now copy and paste this video clip. And on the bottom video clip, I'm just going to disable the scene removal mask. And then what I can do is drag a title in. So I'm going to drag this title in between my two video clips. So now we have this pretty cool title, which is sandwiched in between the subject and the background. And it just adds some depth to the video clip. It's super quick to do. And it actually does a pretty good job of masking out the subject and the background. And this is a effect that I'll probably definitely be using in the future and a great one for people who are self filming their videos because most of the time you'll be setting up the camera stationary and then you already have a clean slate once you leave and enter the frame. So as well as titles, you can also use this effect to add effects to the background or the subject, which is also a pretty cool thing to do. So if I go to my effects tab and just drag on a glitch effect to this bottom video clip, you can see now the background is glitching, but the subject isn't. And then we can also do the same thing. We can add the top video clip. So if I add on this outline effect, the outline effect is only going to affect the subject layer. And then also we can use transitions to do this as well. So if I press B on my keyboard and split this bottom video clip and select one of the edges, Go over to my transitions tab. What I could do is add a transition to one of these, just add this distort transition. And then we can affect the background like that as well. And the subject will stay in place. Moving on to some other new features, they've added some new titles, transitions, and generators. So if I go over here to my titles tab and go to dynamic titles, they've added a bunch of new titles down here. But the biggest disappointment is that we didn't get the new live drawing title, which they released on the iPad version of Final Cut Pro, which allows you to draw your own titles. Would have been cool to have, but hopefully they release it in the future. Quite a lot to choose from, and they're all pretty decent. If you had just got started in video editing or started a new YouTube channel, it's really nice to have some of these things that you can just use. So if I drop one of these into my timeline and then double click on the text, that will allow you to change it. So, so we can easily change the titles in here. And now we have this pretty dynamic, colorful title. They're actually really good. You can also change the colors. If you go up here to the titles, you can also go and change all of the colors, which is very useful. And then if we go further down on this tab, down to the generators and then go to dynamic backgrounds, they've got some nice new backgrounds that you could use. These generators come in handy from time to time. And this nebula one is actually really cool. And then if we go to objects, we also have a very limited number of objects that we can use, which are already animated. Although these ones would probably be good for YouTube. You have the thumbs up and also the bell. And then if we go over here to the transitions tab and go down to dynamic transitions, these are okay, nothing special, but they actually do match the titles, um, the themes of the titles. So if you're using the titles and these transitions, you can create like a nice theme to your videos. Like I said, if you're just starting out, then it's great. And they're just very simple to transition between two video clips. Okay, so moving on now to the effects and they've actually added a lot of color grading presets. So if we go to the effects tab and then go down to color board presets and also color grading presets, they have 
quite a lot of ones to choose from. So if I add one of these to my video clip, what it does is add it, adds this new color adjustment, which is underneath the color board. Now we have color board, color wheels, color curves, hue saturation curves, and also color adjustments. And color adjustments is just an even more simplified color grading uh, option. It has these sliders, which you can just slide back and forward to adjust your color grade. And then it also has added the highlights, midtones, and shadows, warmth, and tint which is actually kind of useful if you're trying to fix the temperature of your video clip. But I still prefer the color grading method of adding a LUT and then adjusting the color curves. So I'll probably stick to that method of color grading. Moving on to the audio effects down here on the effects tab, they've added a few new effects, but also taken away a few. They've taken away the fat EQ effect which I used to love using to dip the soundtracks and dip the audio and it gives it kind of like a cool effect. So instead now I'm using this AU low pass, which pretty much does the same thing if you keyframe the cutoff frequency and also you can mess with the resonance to get different sound effects. So this one's a super fun effect to add to your background music or your soundtracks. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. I'm going to be sticking with Final Cut Pro for the moment. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Subscribe if you liked it and I'll see you in the next video.